Hi and welcome back to another episode of Hot Tech Tips, hottechtip.com. Well, today we have a situation where we have a wall mounted large screen flat television and we want to broadcast some statistics that affect the company um, but we don't want to purchase another workstation for it that might cost about five or six hundred dollars. So it has to be internet ready and cheap. So what we decided was to purchase a Raspberry Pi 3 and we are going to receive that, unbox it, program it, hook it up and see how well it works to bring in some internet content to this uh, flat screen. All right, so we have received the uh, Raspberry Pi 3. This particular one is the Kana kit. It arrived overnight with Amazon Prime. And we are going to unbox it, look at the components, get it set up. All right, quick start guide. Raspberry Pi. Premium case. That's a 2.5 amp power supply for it. And what kind of connector? It's got that micro USB. All right, and those are the little heat sinks to attach to the. Um, sorry about the noise in the background. They're working on the office space next door. So that's going to be pretty annoying. All right, so there is the Raspberry Pi. Okay. All right. So we have to attach those heat sinks. Does it have compound or just some mm -hmm. kind of a sticky? Okay. Nice. What about the two for my uh, for someone else? It didn't have the compound on it. You had to get your own compound. <laughs> Came from. It didn't come with a can of kit though. So. All right. You want to put it in the kit uh, in the case. Uh, Okay, so it seems like um, there's a little trick to getting the Raspberry Pi in this Kana supplied case. Um, the trick is to slide it in underneath these tabs right here. Otherwise, it presses on those tabs when you put the case in. So that fits nice and snug right here. Then you snap the case on. And if it's nice and secure, okay, good. And so there's our top case. All right, so now it's just going to be a matter of getting an SD card put in there, get some power to it. Get an OS on it, get it connected to the internet, mm -hmm. and start displaying some internet um, statistics we're looking for, and saving tons of money. All right, so you download Noobs, and it's just a zip file. Unzip it, and then copy it over to the micro SD card. <coughs> okay. You guys getting that thing going? Mm-hmm.
What about like staff con? Should I send him to maintenance or can do remote? What should I do with them? I don't have the agent to plug up again. It needs to be formatted in fat. Uh, no, no. So it has to be on site. Formatted fat? Yeah, we're trying to get them on YouTube. Okay. It's supposed to be named. Yeah. Yeah. They need to. Who should we talk to? I'm going to name it after the operating system that's going to go on it. I don't care. I can't. I don't know. What to tell them. What are we going to charge you? All right. How big? How many files? How many? One gig. Oh, just one gig. Okay. So the noobs is only one gig. All right. We're gonna insert the micro SD card. Okay. Um, do we want to put an Ethernet cable in first? We can use this one. Mouse. All right. Which, incidentally, we're going to hook up a <laughs> keyboard and mouse off of this docking station we have available. All right. HDMI. HDMI cable hook up to the big screen. And power it on. Look at that. Let me get a close up of that. Oh, <laughs> oh no. We can put Windows 10 on there. So it booted to the micro SD card with the new. You want to put, uh, you're going to put Raspbian on there, right? We're not connecting to the internet okay, and downloading Raspbian. <laughs> oh, we'll wait for that uh, download. <laughs> OS installed. Nice. All right, loading uh, the Raspbian OS. Reached target login prompt. Started LSB. Start NIP daemon. Raspbian loading. Well, I will call back in a few weeks or so. We have a. Mouse. All right, came up with the Raspberry. Hit that web browser. Check out the browser. Nice. Sweet. Huh? I stored the That is the correct password. Thank God. One server's offline. Bing, bing, bing.